Hi, this is Johan Haig from Armin Marth, and you are watching Loudwire. Well, the the, Yom's, the 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 whole story about the album is it, it's it's a concept album. So there's there there is a, a storyline that goes through the whole album lyrically, and uh, uh, it's kind of describing the main character's story, his life, and the, you know. So in writing the music, I would say that we worked really hard on uh, making it kind of lift the story, work with the story, kind of like writing uh, like a musical score for a movie or something. So in a way, I guess, I guess you're right. <laughs> I, I would say that those elements have always been there. It's just a matter of, you know, first of all, us lately on the, on the, the later albums kind of allowing those influences to, to shine through more because we used to be very like controlling with that, saying, well, this sounds too much like that and too much like this, you know, it's, we, we need to sound like ourselves. Uh, and uh, now we're more like open to letting influences be a part of our sound, but still kind of keeping the Amunamarth sound. But I think also uh, with each album, uh, production wise, it's allowed all these melodies and all that stuff to, to be more prominent, I think. And, on this album, I think it's more than ever, probably because we also have a different drummer doing the drums, which gives more air to the production in, in general. So. It, it's different though, because, I mean, going on stage or writing lyrics, I don't really have to think about getting into character. It just happens. But here, I kind of had to imagine myself being this this guy that lived like a thousand years ago, <laughs> you know. Uh, so, and also, you have to um, imagine, you know, the relationship that this person has to all the other all the other characters, you know. Mm -hmm. and you have to see them as their characters, not as the people they are, you know. So it was it was it was a bit tricky, but it, I, I had good help from the other actors. So mm -hmm. how to how to really uh, do it well? And yeah. <laughs> would be fun, you know. It, it it's tricky though, uh, especially like you could probably do it for festivals and stuff. But for a for a whole tour, that would be difficult, and. Uh, I, I'm not sure. I mean, we might do the whole concept album uh, on special shows. We might do that. Uh, it's definitely something we've we've at least thought about, you know. But at the moment, there are no plans to do so. So we're going to kind of focus on on playing the songs we feel will be the most popular ones in the, mm -hmm. on the album. But uh, it's hard because everybody seems to have different favorite songs. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure if we can call it an obsession, but I think I think it started around the age of ten, maybe. You know, reading some of that stuff in school and kind of getting into it, and then you know I started reading a lot of books on my on my own. So, like when the, my friends were reading kind of Lord of the Rings and that stuff, I was reading Viking sagas instead because I thought that was much cooler. <laughs> It's it's so it's it's an interesting question because I always get it, uh, but I've, uh, lately I've been thinking it's like yeah, it, you know, nobody ever a asks like black black metal bands if they're not tired of writing about Satan, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure I'm sure there's more stuff about Vikings than there is about Satan, but you know that's the way it is, you know. And, and I I think there's so many. Things you can take from the, both the mythology and history of the Vikings, so that there, you know, we could easily do ten more albums if we wanted to, you know. <laughs> 